Hi everyone, I'm Daryl Clark from App Point. Let me just uh, get that out the way. Six thousand. And I'm a bit delayed from App Point. It's been two months since I started working from home, which has its benefits. It saves me a three hour commute to the office each day, which gives me more time to do the things I love, such as playing basketball. Did that go in? Yeah. At this point, everyone's either working remotely already, or they're in the transition phase of a working from home policy. Let me in. Let me in. At our point, we use Microsoft Teams to ensure that we're able to continue to collaborate even though we're working far apart. There's a tremendous amount of benefits that come with a strong Teams adoption and usage, but it's not without the challenges that we've seen along the way. <gasps> For example, a customer of ours with 60,000 workers sent their staff home and within three days, they had 10,000 new teams. Almost as many curls as I do every day. Another organization had 1,500 users, but 2,000 teams. That's a team and a third per person. For your users, it's great that they're now adopting Microsoft Teams, but as IT, now you've got all these new teams being created, how do you know which ones are actually being used? Are you confident that you have the control over what type of information gets sorted into what team? And who should even have access to it? And do you know which of these teams you'll need a year from now? And which ones you can dispose of safely? It's really about striking a balance between collaboration and control. If you want to learn more, Victor and I are doing a webinar on the 27th where you can learn how to create a solid governance team strategy for your team's deployment and how you can also ensure a long-term sustainable adoption using our solutions and best practices. We look forward to seeing you there. That went really, really well. Good job. Yeah. Team's five. Woo. Oh, whoops, sorry.